you now. Hallelujah. I just love to love you. To everyone here, I just love to love you. Yes, to these people, I just love to love you. God bless all of you. Um, I first of all thank God for today. I want to just thank God for all the good things he has done to make us look at us. We're looking so beautiful. Isn't that true? Can we put our hands together for the Lord, please? Hallelujah. Amen. And um, I take it upon myself to really want to honor you, woman of God. God bless you and my very good friend. <sighs> Hallelujah. Amen. And um, what you do is amazing. Uh, I've heard stories. I've seen it. Deborah's army. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we please put our hands together? You see, everything I was saying yesterday was what you were saying today. And so I just knew that God is in here. The moment we stepped in here. And I know some of you, your feet are hurting, but you're going to sit down very soon. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we were coming, a man on a bike was hit by the car and I believe he gave up the ghost that man when he was leaving the house has a wife children so to speak and I'm sure he looked at the wife and said I'm coming let me go and hustle for the day am I communicating yes. why I'm saying this is because some of you your feet are hurting and you think that because you're feeling oh, let this man just feel, let me sit down oh I'm tired to worship now I've come to edify your spirits because you might live here right now. This might be the end of you. When she was crying and saying, oh, that you'll be led by the spirit. That is exactly what I spoke to you guys yesterday. That's what we're saying. See, the times, the times we're in now is a very cogent one. And those who don't know the spirit will be so carried away by the flamboyance by the nuances of the society and they lose it. Hallelujah. So when I see things like this that is pure and organic whereby we just come and love the Lord first time that Lord sent us here in Nigeria when I came I realized that people are the one who actually I'm sorry are you recording me? Can I, can I, can I, can I be myself? Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. 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 I'm sorry, I get so overwhelmed. So, we, I realize that people run the church. If you want to worship the Lord, they tell you that somebody's looking at the time. And right there, the mistake we made was we had a big clock at the back. So, everybody just turned back. I don't know if you get me. I'm like, whoa. Is this how we go and go? So, I'm so happy that today, I just find people who really want to just worship the Lord. So make a round of applause for them and yeah. everyone. I salute everyone here. You, your team members and the management and the leadership and everyone. May the Lord bless all of you. Name of Jesus. We speak that by this time next year that Deborah's army shall multiply in leaps and bounds. You didn't catch me. In leaps and bounds. In leaps and bounds. like to stifle something that has life but you see just like Daniel who prayed and the Lord has released it already he never stopped the, the, the effective fervent prayer of the righteous is to say you didn't stop at the first time you started the problem we have in the society is that many of us once we start and it doesn't look like it. We stop to look for something else to start again. And you see, a man would only become a beginner if you always begin something new. But when you stay in that line, if you are known for this, oh yeah, yeah, come down to Nigeria. I'm seeing every man of God wants to stand like a man of God. Am I communicating now? You want to look at somebody and copy that person. I don't want to hear a bootleg of that person. I want to hear the original. Am I communicating? Yes, so if you want to sound like Mr. A, I'd rather go and buy Mr. A CD to play instead of listening to the boot court. Hallelujah. Yes, so you listen, you must be the original version of yourself. If you want 
to be the one who wants to study computer engineering, then do it very well. The Bible says anything you lay your hands to do, exceedingly well. So if we want to stand, they want to worship the Lord, or we want to talk about his goodness and the indwelling of the Spirit, may I beseech you that I may not, uh, I may not really, really touch the delicacy of your fabrics. What I want to do now is I want to touch your spirits. Hallelujah. Amen. So when I'm talking to you, some of you get broken and you start to cry. You are not crying because I'm so good with my oratory prowess. Amen. Amen. But because the spirit of God is convicting you from the inside. And you are knowing that this thing is being spoken to me. I am the one. Yes, sir. Where the spirit of God is, there's conviction. You know is you. And what he doesn't like is when you know is you and you still get bogus. And you get a chip on your shoulders. No, 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 no. He comes, he brings you, he humbles you. Swallow your pride. Let's get into the school of the spirit. Swallow, swallow. Somebody say, I swallow my pride. I swallow my pride. It's a journey. It's a marriage affair. The day a man looks at a woman and says, yes, I do. They didn't know where they were going to. Amen? It's a life journey. There's no quitting. The Bible says there's no room for divorce. Hallelujah. Amen. Except true and chastity. Ah, so I want to thank the Lord that you know when I got a call that I would speak on this I began to pray and I was asking the Lord what do I want to give to these people because we are people of the spirit and the Lord told me that the people who will come here today I think I told you guys yesterday or the day before yesterday says everybody here has a calling that everybody here, I don't know, said everybody here has a calling. And today we want to unseal the oil. Amen. Ah, you didn't get me now. You didn't get me now. You didn't get me now. Do we have the anointing oil here? Okay, I remember. I know you will forget and I brought mine. Bring mine from the bag. Hallelujah. The Lord told me that you will forget. I think I told you guys. And so I got mine. Because I want to use it to teach. Let me have it. So the anointing oil, this one is cocked up. You see that? Brand new, cocked up. And the screw are there. So now you see, if you are like this, just imagine this bottle is empty and it's cocked up. The spirit cannot put anything in you. So today, because many of you are gifted, you see what is inside? You are so gifted. God called you, you have a calling. But you are not overflowing yet. You have the indwelling of the spirit, but it's not manifesting yet. Am I communicating? Oh, people look at you and everywhere you go, they give you prophecy. Oh, God is going to touch you. Something is upon you. But yet, there is no manifestation. Hey, so what we want to do today is to uncock this. Somebody say, I uncock myself for the Holy Spirit. Now, I can't hear your voice. Say, I uncock myself for the Holy Spirit. Oh, I, oh, I, if you sit, you can sit actually if you want to stand, you can stand. But you see, in the case, in the journey of destiny, men who sit always stay sit. Amen? Amen? When you are eat, you sit. That's why Jesus told Satan, man shall not live by bread alone. I didn't come to eat. Satan said, turn the stone to bread. I didn't come, I got journey. Even though I'm going to stay 33 years and a half, but I got a purpose. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Everyone here, the Lord told me, everyone here today has a calling. Whether you are doing the sound, you are in the media, you have a calling. There's a strong oil upon your life. So mine is to just come and beseech you. I can't force you, teach you that you uncock your cock, that the Holy Spirit might come and then begin to flow you and you begin to run over. Hallelujah. Amen. Ever from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. That means to say, before John the Baptist, every other person took it. But it was in the days of John the Baptist, the violence now take it by force. No wonder after John the Baptist, Jesus came. Hallelujah. I want to be the beginning of every good thing that will happen in my family. I don't know about you. That it be known that since God raised me, no demon can affect my family again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm talking to somebody here now. Hallelujah. Young man, the one on white. When I entered here, the Lord showed me you. 
I just want to start with you first. Hallelujah. Just, be, just open your heart. Listen, may I say this? The woman with the issue of blood. Do you know that it has been a long time? Can you hold this for me? It's been a long time that the Holy Spirit is leading people, but people didn't know. Jesus had his disciples with him. And the Bible says, you know, if Bishop Oedipo comes here now, you see the whole city will be thronging to touch him. But not some just want to touch and take pictures, selfie. I saw Bishop Oedipo. But one woman with the issue of blood for many years, the Lord gave him an exceptional mindset through the Holy Spirit that if you can go and touch this man, something that is... Hey, am I talking to somebody today? If only that I may touch the hem of this garment. Every this blood issue for years, I've spent the Bible says they spent all her money. It will go. So I just want you wherever you are right now, just tell the Lord, Lord, today I will touch the hem of your garment. Hey, I will not live here the same. Just it's a heart cry. Just tell the Lord, I sound the alarm for me now. I will not live here the same. Rekabala. Hey, today you will uncock me, Lord. Holy Ghost. Whether I want it or not. Amen. Ah, Nana. Whether I want it or not, you would uncock me. Oh, that my blessing will flow. Amamakamina. Activate me. Activate me. Hey, give me the symbols now. Amen. No, 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 no. Come in, Nana. Activate me, Lord. Activate me. Come on, man, and I'm going to go. He made me come on, no, Kabiaka. Somebody pray in the Hoa. He made come on, Naka. Gemini Nico Setia. Imbra Camelo Combre de Co. Gemini Naka. Licomeni. There's a fire that will come upon some. E come in, come in, Nico, come on, and eh. He's a man, and oh. Rakombe kombe zamani niko bena kamina ezazuzia zakuri akameno zemana kosha dia rakombo kosete ikama na 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 ema na na ima likuni kama na na some of you the Lord is dropping oil upon your head now there is an oil being released ame zimini start to uncock yourself Lord. I'm broken, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. Come and take over. Take over, Holy Spirit. Take over. I'm open. This vessel is open. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come and take over. Come and take over. Hallelujah. And the woman devised the means. Do you know men, gallant men, 12 disciples with every other friends and well wishes, protecting Jesus? You know, sometimes I love what he said. Don't just be following men of God around. Know, know the Holy Spirit, know God by yourself. And so those ones were following Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. Bunch of yes men. Hallelujah. But one woman saw and the Holy Spirit, through the wisdom of the ancients, told her that if you go there and if you can not touch Jesus but just the garment, the hem of his garment. See, that's why I know that there is an indwelling of spirit inside of you. You don't understand. Because you are not showing it forth now does not mean it's not there. All you need to do is activate. That's why you have empty and until you die one star 131 hash isn't that true you activate something i want you to die star 131 hash of your spiritual man now ah, that you may activate then it will give you option it will tell you either you want to reload whether you want to your data subscription or whatever you want to do ha ah, god is ready to give you anything you want when you die that code all you need to do is to tell him your subscription what you want somebody here today god will give you more than what you ask for some of you here i'm seeing soldiers and armies i'm seeing people who are anointed i'm seeing people who god will use i'm seeing people who god will touch i'm seeing people who god will burn with fire for this generation ah, i'm seeing people whose voice shall be heard i'm seeing people whose song shall be heard i'm seeing people who shall blow in the anointing of god i'm seeing people who would burn for jehovah 
I'm seeing the last days army. I'm seeing the remnant of God. I'm seeing people, Lord, who carry fire. I'm seeing people, Lord, whose tongues shall win souls. I'm seeing the one. I'm seeing a victor. I'm seeing a mama coming. Shemana call someone. Eat up, brother, call. Do we have lions here? Let them begin to roar. Begin to blast their tongue. Rakababa yakada. Ira no 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 no. Ayana come on, come in the kanana. For one minute, enter into the holy of holy. For one minute, enter, 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 enter. Ika mana na come in the come on. Ibraka ya da 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 da. Praying tongues now. Rana na come in na. Ima come in ko shemini. Rada da 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 da. I enter, I enter, I enter, I enter, I enter, I enter, I enter into the way, I enter into the place where I voila, I voila da da, I voila da 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 da, I voila da 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 da, Shababa, Rona come on, a place where you refine me, a place where you refine me, the purifier. The fire of the Holy Ghost, a place where I never become the same again, a place where I'm tossed, a place where my tongue is twisted, a place where I see Jesus, I see the Holy Ghost. Roma, mama, mama, ima rada da da da, rada da 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 da. Don't close that mouth. Let it rumble that tongue. I'm talking to mandators. I'm talking to mandators. I'm talking to lions. Roar in the spirit. Before I preach, it's coming upon somebody. The anointing is coming upon somebody. The anointing is coming. 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 The anointing is before we leave here today, some of you will become funnels of fire. Hey! Ah, if I be a man of God, ah, Elijah said, if I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, let it not be heard. Some of you, you become eagles, begin to fly. Hey! Hold this one, hold this one for me. <laughs> when the fire comes, my sight comes clearly. Rema nanaka. Reka shababia. Where is the lady that stood here? Open your spirit, don't worry. Where you are now, the Lord wants to do something. Begin to pray in one minute. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, you. I see a lady by you in the name of somebody like your sister. Begin to pray. Begin to pray before we even start the teaching. There's something God wants to do for you. Ah, please just pray in one minute. Open your mouth. Begin. Sound the alarm. Perfect everything you call for me. Shamanana. Somebody declare. Come on, 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 come 
I want to. Ma, I don't know how many minutes I got. Let me know. One hour. Thank you, Lord. We're going to use it judiciously. Frugality is the ability to be subservient in your spending. Am I communicating? We are going to be frugal with time. That is to say we would apportion things and let the Holy Spirit take over. Hey, the Bible says the reason why in the house of Obedad on the ark remained there. And when David went with his men to go and carry it, uh, he didn't do the right thing. He didn't follow the Spirit. Ooh, he didn't wear his priestly effort. That is the attire of a priest. He went there thinking that he knows Jesus. Am I communicating? He went there thinking I'm a man of God. But he didn't put his full armor. The Bible says put on your full armor of God. That you may be able to withstand the dart and the wise of the enemy. You got to wear your full armor today. Today is a day where Jesus will meet you. Divinity will meet humanity. And humanity will conform to the front. Oh, ah. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm... Uh, hey, see, see. Listen to me. I see the cloud is there. Listen. The man by the pool of Bethesda. The Bible says, Early in the morning, the pool will be stirred by the angels. And whoever entered first, anything that is wrong with you become whole. You become cleansed. Now the, the cloud is staring. Whoever, the faith that will enter first, that person receives everything you need. So I want you right now, wherever you are, begin to say, Lord, begin to connect your faith right now. That I may be the first that will enter. Let it not be known. Raise the alarm for me now. Tell the Lord right now, my faith is stirred. I stir up my faith. I enter. I enter. Let it not be found. Kaya bada kami na kana na na. Rekete kete kete. Ah. Begin to declare. Ready to man na 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 na. I enter into into my place of greatness. I enter my place. So man na. Lord I enter. Yeah. Yes I enter into the holy place. Come on na na na. Can you blast that tongue now? Blast that tongue now. For one minute, blast that tongue now. Someone, no, 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 no. Ebra, come back, come back, get us I shall be the first to enter the pool. Hey, hear me. Hear me. I wrote this down. I said, Your presence does not equate your essence. You don't understand. Your presence does not equate your essence. That's what they call the essence magazine. That's what they call the presence. The presence of a carrier of God is wherever you go to, God shows up. If we take you to the US, you are a believer. You call upon me and I will answer. And I will show you great and mighty things you do not know. Few men have the, the DNA to call upon that Yahweh. Am I communicating? The essence is your case of posterity, what you stand for. Am I communicating? You are not talking to me. Are we together here? 
at the back. Your presence. That's why when you hear song like, Your presence is ever to me, right? Yes, sir. Heaven. No, it's heaven. On earth, you have the presence of God that you can summon the Holy Ghost to come now. Hey. Ah. I'm going to start... I'm going to start my preaching that I've not started yet. I'm just, I'm just building you, you know. When you want to cook on firewood, you put the woods together. Isn't that true? Oh, then you, you begin to make fire. I can't just come and pour something I've been fasting for days just like that. On an ordinary mindset that is thinking I want to sit down. Suddenly, oh, suddenly you have strength now for your legs. You were tired before, but now you heard. Am I communicating? Let hey, The Bible says, once has it been spoken, twice have I heard that all power belongs to God. Today, you hear it once, but your spirit will resound it countless times. Ah. In the Bible passage of James chapter 5, verse 17, if you have your Bible here opening, pull it up that it may not look like I confuse you. I want you to read it because once you read it, that's my beginning and that's my ending. James chapter 5, verse 17. It says, And Elijah is the same man as you. Isn't that true? Yes, sir. The same stature. The same constitution, government, the same humanoids, like you. But that same man spoke that there shall be no rain in three and a half years. And there was no rain. If you go down to verse 18, he says, And the same man spoke that there might be rain. And the rain came. How can it be that somebody can control heaven and earth? The same man that caught fire from heaven. We are talking about the indwelling of the presence. Indwelling of the spirit. You cannot speak such things and God will honor it if there is no DNA of registration yes, sir. in heaven and on yes, earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus yes, taught us how to pray. Yes, he said, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That we be done on earth as it is in heaven. There is a Bluetooth connection, mutual connection. When things go right there, it goes right here. Yes, Are you wondering when the Bible says what we bind on earth shall be what? Bound in heaven. heaven. What we lose on earth shall be what? It's not for everybody, but for those that have the DNA of the kingdom. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Peter, I know. Who are you? The sons of Sceva. Amen. Amen. You don't have the DNA. That's what the Satan told. Demon told them, I don't know you. I've run through your DNA in the system. I can't find you. May it not be known that we are found unworthy. Amen. Are your amen coming better? Amen. See, there's something I love about amen. Amen means so shall it be. Right. Hallelujah. Yes, Elijah. When I read this verse, it challenged my spirit. Till today, I'm still reading it. Elijah, in the same stature. So it's not enough to just play this, the bars, right? It's not enough. When God gives you there's an oil that we put on you. When you are playing this thing, you see people start to fall. And I pray so shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. Yes. When you tune this thing, ah, do you know that King Saul had a demon possessed nature? And that young man called David, once he turned this thing, and once he, you see, it's not everything they do deliverance with mouth. Yes, sir. The spirit bears witness. Yes, sir. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. When you fine tune that, it, it expresses. See? One thing about the spirit is expression and manifestation. You cannot have the spirit and be dormant. Somebody say, I refuse to be dormant. Somebody say, I refuse to be stagnant. You can't have the Holy Spirit. When I came, you told me, how can you have the Holy Spirit and be masturbating? I said, uh-huh. Let's talk about it now. Amen. Amen. I've been to services and churches whereby people speak in tongue and fall and roll and shout and scream and even destroy chairs in the church. I want to go down again and hold one girl on the waist. How is our God a liar? Oh. Bible says in the book of Numbers, God is no man that he will lie. He's not the son of man that will repent. Has he said a thing and not done it? Can you answer me that question? No, no allow that. No, Has he said a thing and not done it? No. His word is yea and what? Amen. The Bible says the Lord honor his word more than his what? Than Name. His name. How can you have the Holy Spirit? You can't even speak to butterfly. Stand up. Your mom is sick. Things are going wrong in your family. And you speak in tongue. Hey. A 
Hello? Hello? You don't know where you dropped your card. You are looking for your, you don't, and you have the Holy Spirit. Something happened yesterday. I was talking to one of our beloved, and she told me, I fasted. I said, come here. And I put her hand, the Lord told me not, she drank water. I said, you drank water? She said, yes, sir. It's the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit revealed all things you don't know. I can be here now in this abode and begin to see things in another nation. Why? Because of the Holy Ghost. Says he comes to search at all things. He reveals all, all things. See, the best thing you can have in life is to have the Holy Ghost. I told them, take my car, take anything, take my house, but give me the Holy Ghost. Because if I go to Sambisa Forest today, I will command this plot. Am I talking to people? Yes, you guys are just looking at me. Am I talking to people? Yes, take everything, give me the Holy Ghost. When you hear people like Theophilo say, he's the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. He knows why. He has tested it. And that's why a man, oh, he's not the best good looking man. Yes, he's sir. not the best. Not. We have people who are very good looking. African idol, whatever, Mr. Face of Africa. But you cannot have impact like him. Yes, you, am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Everybody love him now. Why? The Holy Ghost. When he comes upon you, this microphone you are holding becomes a bullet yes, unto the kingdom. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know how to come and teach the conventional teaching. I come to charge you. That's what they call charge the affair. I come to charge your affairs. Now, when I leave, it will burn for ages to come. Amen. When I went abroad and was overseas, I was doing modeling then. And I believe uh, Dr. Larry uh, Stockhill from the United States was came. I was the only black person. I mean, there. And he was talking. I mean, I was very stubborn though. So there's no way you could tell me that, even if you see vision of me when I was in Nigeria, I'll believe that my mother told you or somehow. You know, I don't believe Nigerian men of God. That's at that time. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Because I was a believer observer. I don't know if you get me. I believe, but I'm observing. I was talking to a lawyer yesterday. She said, eh, sir, I, I love everything you say, but I have problem with tight pain. I don't think in the constitution that is mandatory. I said, okay, you are still flowing with your genosis. Amen? Amen. That's what they call epignosis. Genosis, the Sophia of mankind. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, some of you are looking at me like I'm alien. I said the Sophia of man. That is the wisdom of man. But when you enter the epignosis, that is the spiritual one. I said you speak like you are you speak like your, your like your profession. And that is why you are calling me now to seek for solution. Mm. You don't understand. Yes, your case cannot be done in the case in the court case. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. You need a higher power. Yes, and that's why you succumb to my government. Yes, and because you have succumbed to my government, you have no choice. I will not pray for you until you begin to pay your tithe. Amen. Amen. Well, that's why God brought apostles on earth. To make people succumb to the government of God. That to let you know that there is... I love everything you preach. This, this. In fact, I don't want to say anything more. You've said everything. They make our God look like puppets. In the days of Archbishop Benson Dawsa, drove all the witches in Benin. How dare you in Nigeria? How dare you say... I told the Lord, Lord, in our time, it's not even only in Benin. Mm. There shall be no marine spirits mm. in Nigeria. Amen. There shall be no witchcraft in Nigeria. Amen. Oh, you don't know that God, you are busy. God is raising men. Oh. There are men, sons of the prophet, they are inside, uh, brooding and growing. Ah, they will. They travail. Their voice you hear. Ifala. They are inside because you didn't see them. Does not make you mean that they are there. Elijah said, "Lord, how can it be? Only me." And the Lord said, "Shut up your mouth." I got sons of the prophet. They are hidden. Seven thousand waiting for you to go, so they can hold the microphone. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. You don't know. God gave you a calling, and you are dilly dallying. You are like a desico. You want everybody to come and lay hands on you. I saw a particular lady and I was telling her what the Lord said. She was acting like she didn't know. And I said, how dare you? Come here. We have the Holy Ghost. H have you not been told this before? She said, I have. So why do you still jump from church to church just to hear the same thing you've heard before? That the hand of God is upon your life. All because you want to feel very important. And you love it when men of God come and they point to you and say, come. You have a call. So the people with you, you now be aggrandizement. Ah, 
Bible says you ask and you receive not because what you pray amiss for your selfish purpose. You want to use it for your self-aggrandizement, not for the will of God. You carry microphone and you are singing and your microphone you are singing, you are, your voice is busy, you are giving me auto. Amen. Amen. Soprano. You want everybody to know you can sing. I want to love God. Nah. When the fire burns your tongue, that who will go away. Amen. 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 The who you go ask Michael Jackson. He will tell you how. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on now. Do you know what is the Holy Ghost? That you just hold them. Hold the microphone. <laughs> Shut the, 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 the. I was watching my father and the Lord, uh, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, in the US yesterday. I I am the level I have never seen that before. Huh? What was that sound he was doing? He was doing that's it. And everybody on fire. I've never this I used to red chicken. They come to eat. Am I communicating? Since when that chicken? That, oh God. When you have the Holy Ghost, there are some things you will do that will baffle humanity. And it must succumb to you. I told them, hey, Bishop, where they will take microphone now and say, this will give you billions. It will. Am I communicating? Yes. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word remains the same. There are some people who are the mandators of authority. And those people you cannot, you cannot. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, make me a voice in my generation. We, hey, 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 we, ah, make me, hey, may I not pass this thing called existence? And may I not, hey, ah, ah, please do so because all of you have a calling. Make me a voice. Ah, ah, Iswaswana nina na, je de 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 kuka katiya. Zama na 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 ibala kusete. Embala kami na ya da ya da ya da. Zile kumi na ko. Ika mani kani na ko. Je mini kama na na kia kana na no sheba. Iri kiti kiti. Some of you will begin to feel signs in your body. Some of you, you begin to feel signs in your body. There is a fire that will come upon you right now. Jamanani na kome na na me na kia kama na ne ya iridi kimi ni kama na na kaya kasha ba rete kite kete iswa swa kaya da eme na kami ni ya ya ero na kami na kami na na. He's a manani go shamana ke manani yo, e manani yo, e manani yo, e manani yo. Let the cherubims and the seraphims begin to flow. Abra kame na kafi na kashamani yo, irone kame na ko. Zimi ni 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 kama na na. For my sake, earth shall shift ground. Protocol shall be broken for my sake. Ah, my voice must be heard. Abra kasa na na na. Begin to speak in tongue wherever you are. It is a tongue fiesta. It is a tongue fiesta. Ay 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 ay. So no 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 no. Fire. That quintessential fire. That overflowing fire. That multi dynamic fire. That multi purpose fire. Eh eh. The blue fire. The yellow fire. The red fire, the Holy Ghost fire, no, 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 is on me. Hallelujah. <laughs> we, I'm going to be coming and going. I'm going to be coming and going. Before I finish, you must be activated. Ah, I can't hear you. Before I finish. The Lord said, F, I, I was surprised. I, I, Lord, how can it be that everyone here has a calling? So my people who has calling, I say, so I will not wait behind. Because the Lord told me I'm releasing mantles here. Today. Hey, hey, hey. Believe in the words of the prophets. I'm, you, believe in the words of the prophets. Eh? And see exploits. And see things begin to work. 
Ah, God wants it. Ah, hey, this is strong here. It's heavy. It's coming. It's coming. Start to paint me. Start to. Hey, 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 hey. He come, mama, 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 no. He keep it the key. I come body. I come in the cold. I shower na. He burn a no. Kimana na na. Kimana na na. Kimana na na. Listen carefully. The indwelling of the spirit. The indwelling of the spirit. What is dwelling in Hebrew word? It means Shekinah. Shekinah means the glory of God that dwells. Am I communicating? Hello. I'm looking at spirits. That's what we say. God. God is releasing something now. I'm seeing. I'm seeing the mantles. I'm seeing the gift. I'm seeing the gift. God is. I don't know who this is for. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing kingdom diplomats. I'm seeing. I'm seeing exploiters. I'm seeing mandators. I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. Uh, can you blast that tongue for one? I'm, I'm, uh, who are these people? Who are these people? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take what belongs to you now. Take what belongs to you now. Take what. Uh, not so loud now. The symbols, the symbols, symbols. Symbols, symbols. Raise the alarm. Shama. Sound the tambourines now. Something is here. In my company. Sir, please come forward. You come. I want to shake your hands. Yeah, come. come. Oh. There is power in the name of Jesus. I want to shake your hands. I want to speak in tongue for one minute. Ridu kuseki mana. Is it? Speak in tongue. Reni kama kasha na na na. Ile kuseti. Connect everything you believe. Connect everything you believe. Everything you believe in God for. Connect it now. Rema na na kasha ma. Reni kuseki tia. There is power. 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 Shanana. Hey. Rekebeni kusene, ibana na kame na komi kanana. The crown of glory, the crown of ah, uh, the crown of glory. Release it for him now. Jene ne 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 kamana, jedi kamana, izini ni kamani. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Be in the spirit, please. Ah. Don't be like the other five foolish virgins who came believing this is just what it is. Have extra oil now. Ha! Ah. Extra, extra. There's something about extra. Extraordinary. Oh, extra. 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 Extravaganza. Extra. Extra. Extra my. Extra. Hey. Extra. Hey. Father, we thank you. 
We'll give you the glory. In Jesus' name we'll pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. I want to begin the service. Every time I want to begin the service, it takes me back to the spirit. You are not alone when you were crying. That's how it is. There is a burden, a path for us. There is a burden. Whenever you want to start it up, he said, no, let them travel. There is a thing about travel. Traveling. A woman that will give birth will travel. When your dilation hits eight, you travel. You want to birth a birth bank. Amen? Hey, I don't know who I'm talking to today. I came prepared. I don't know about you. Can we just affirm it? Say, I came prepared. There's no authority in your voice. Check this out. My introduction. Shekinah is the dwelling of the glory and the presence of God. So, the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Isn't that true? All things have passed away. If you know you have medical issues here, you are tired, please sit down. It's on your own discretion. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Huh. But I can't carry this kind of fire and sit down. Far be it from me. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Hey, go and ask people like Jacob and the mother, Rebecca, who had to resort to lying to be able to take what belongs to the brother. They came up with schemes. Put hair, kill a goat, put the hair on your body. Make your father a good meal. Uh, but ma, I can't make it like him. He said, go and devise a means. Go on YouTube, go and check culinary delights. How to make that food that you may be able to enter into the place of promise and covenant. Yes, hey, you don't understand. Mm. He had to go the extra mile to receive that thing. A man ordained one. But you, you are standing before Elohim. Whereby is just your, just twist your tongue a little bit and you receive that. I pray today, the dwelling of God will come upon you. Amen. I'm going to be very fast. The dwelling of the Holy Ghost. What made Elijah so separate from us? Though we have the same stature, the same face, the same pokotuts. Am I communicating? Yes, yes. But one thing different. One was a carrier of his presence. The Bible says, body, today, uh, maybe some of us will have to pass by the grace of God, that no one like John the Baptist, he came again reincarnated if there's a word like that, yes, and became John the Baptist. Yes, Am I communicating? Yes, sir. The same spirit, the same man, and the same woman wants to still kill. One was Jezebel. The oh. other one was Herodias. Yes. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. yes, but I, because that oil, of or that oil has never been seen before. Hello? Should in case you have so many tribulations and tempests and trials, it's because of the anointing you carry. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. I left my job. She said, God will take what matters most to you. That thing that is your semi-God. When he calls you, there are different kind of calling. There's a calling that is a jealous calling. When God has a jealous love for you. Meaning, that's why you see people like Yinka, Yefele, they had to get accident before they can sing gospel. We were working in NTA before, but God was calling them, calling them, they didn't listen. Am I communicating? Yes. He will take what matters more to you that you may heed. My prayer is that you don't lose what matters to you. Yes. Don't be like Jonah who was swallowed by the whale, and the belly of the whale, when the seaweed wrapped around his head. He now said, Lord, I will go now to Nineveh. Can you just tell the Lord right now, send me, I will go. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8, whom shall I send? Whom shall go for us? And I say, Lord, here I am, send me. Send me into the uttermost part of the world. Can you just tell the Lord right now, send me. Wherever you are, send me. Send me. Send me. Send me, I will go. I will go. Je la kamine ki zediya. Izala na ku sediya. Li kamali ku sena ku segediya ka. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone, please have your seat. And get your writing out materials so that you can be able to take this. It is not enough that you just get slain. But that you get slain when you wake up, there is something to run back to. The Bible says when we are babes, we taught like babes. And now we are adults. Hallelujah. Before, before you guys go, there's a song we did. I've been blown. I like to always sing it. 
Ooh, you love me so. Is our song. It doesn't matter what I do, but Jesus, you, you love, love me so. so. It doesn't matter where I go, but Yahweh, you love me so. It doesn't matter the clothes I wear, but my Savior, you love me so. I've been blown, I've been blown, I've been blown, I've been blown, cause I've been blown, I've been blown, I've been blown by the Holy Ghost, I've been blown, cause I've been blown, I've been blown, I've been blown away, I've been blown, cause I've been blown, I've been blown away. You blow me out. Say, Holy away. Ghost, you blow me out. I'm no longer the same. I'm, I'm no more away. what I am. I've I'm, been been. I'm no longer who I was. I've been, I've been blown away. I've been blown. I've been blown. I've been blown away. I've been blown. I've been blown. And Father Lord, blow us away today with your power show us the secret things that we may be more like you in Jesus mighty name we pray look to your neighbor and say are you ready tonight oh it's still morning right hallelujah in my head is night already please have your wonderful seat God bless you please um, come with me to John chapter 1 verse 14 John chapter 1 verse 14 we're talking about the dwelling of God's presence. Hallelujah. The dwelling of God's presence. It says, The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hallelujah. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. So we're talking about the indwelling of the spirit. So it begins with the word of God being flesh and it dwells so dwelling is the covering of the spirit the presence of the spirit in a man's life so the bible says david says i was glad when they said let us go into the house of god let us tarry let us dwell into the house of god so when you dwell in the place of god hallelujah amen when you dwell in the place of God, what happens is it gives you a sense of conformity. And then when you dwell, because at the beginning it says, if a man being Christ is a new creature, all things have passed away. Behold, all things becomes new. You see, the spirit of God will not dwell upon you if you still have the old with you. So the first thing he does is when he comes upon you, he refines you, you become a new creature. And when you become new, just like a new house, if this place was just brand new, I don't know before they packed in if it was new, but then you begin to come to install things. Isn't that true? So nobody goes to an old house and I don't know, some people do that because of their finances, but most especially, I prefer a new house. I don't know about you. Do you prefer a new house or the old one? Come on, talk louder. The new house or old house? So when you enter the new house, the beauty of it is that you come up with the plan. Okay, this is where I'm going to have my television and everything. So, when, the, when a believer receives Christ, I'm going to be talking about the indwelling of the Spirit as well as the dimensions of anointing so that today you know the anointing you operate under and seek for the one you are entering into. So, the beginning is when you, everything becomes new now, is, is a new place. Then, the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, and then power, am I communicating? Was given. Power. The first one is power. And the power comes, the first, the first level of anointing is called the leprosy anointing. Write that down. The leprosy anointing. The anointing that comes upon you the moment you say, Lord, I confess the Lord as my personal Lord and Savior. The day you came out for the sinner's prayer and you raised your hand up is the first day the anointing came upon you. And the anointing is called leprosy anointing. Why is it called leprosy anointing? Because your feet 
was taken away. It was that day you stand and make that declaration and say, I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. And you, Lord, you reign over my life supreme. So the Lord gives you a dwelling of his spirit. And most especially, most Christians now we have, have 30% of that anointing. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. 30%. Because they come and they proclaim Jesus. And the Bible says, healing is thy children's bread. So by right, once you've received Jesus... In a new building, he now gives you the Holy Ghost. Can somebody read for me Acts chapter 1 verse 8? Please. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 with a loud voice. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Go ahead. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Of the earth. God bless you. Now, another translation says, first you receive power. Then the Holy Ghost comes upon you. First, you receive power. The power you receive is the day you proclaim Jesus. Don't forget in Philippians 2, 9, 10, 11. He says, and power was accorded unto that name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. So power is in the name of Jesus. So the moment you stand and say, Lord, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Power has been released unto you. It is that power that will not make the Holy Ghost look at you as a vacuum. As a place he wants to stay. That is when he now comes and dwells you. And then when he dwells you, depending on what you do, the Holy Spirit is holy, is righteous, is pure. So when he comes upon you, and if you are not living a life that is pure, it will desist. Somebody who is dwelling in a house can choose to pack out. Isn't that true? Yes, so the indwelling of the Spirit tells us clearly that the Spirit can dwell. And can go. No wonder in the book of Psalm 91, it says, Those that, that abide in the secret place of the Most High shall what? Those that dwell. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I can't hear your voice. Let's start from the beginning. Those that dwell. Are you saying now? We're talking about the indwelling of the Spirit those that dwell in the secret place so if the holy spirit must be upon you you must always be dwelling in a secret place then when you dwell you will now abide under the shadow what is the shadow the shekinah the presence the spirit am i communicating so if you don't dwell there will be no covering so when you feel like sometimes you say satan why the lord don't forget the bible says he that breaks the edge the serpent will bruise the edge is talking about is that sin has come in and so that covering that you had is taken off. And so Satan will now bruise through serpent. So the first thing you need to do in the indwelling is to first of all receive Jesus. And you are given the leprosy anointing. 30% Christians have it. And that anointing, you can pray for someone who is sick. Healing will come. Mm. A believer who just received Jesus, if you have faith, you will hold somebody's hand and say, I rebuke the spirit of cancer and it will go away. Why? Because that is the beginner's faith. The second faith that comes after you receive the leprosy anointing is the anointing called the priestly anointing. Write that down. The priestly anointing. When the priestly anointing comes upon you, that's when you now start to see that you have words. When you go for evangelism, you are talking to somebody. The person is broken inside. Conviction comes. Because why? Because there is something in you. You know, it's not just everybody. I just mean somebody said, give your life to Jesus. No. There is something in you. There's a spirit. You, somebody told me, a man of God said, I told a girl, why are, you, why are you a prostitute? Why are you doing this? From chewing bubble gum, she was saying, Pastor, I beg, I beg, not today, not today. Then she started to cry. What would make a prostitute who has been there for almost 15 years start to cry? Do you know a prostitute is like a hardened criminal? Am I communicating? Yes, you can see in the cross. Jesus was in the middle. There's one here, there's one there. One still became a criminal even when he was still killed as a criminal. Stole the Lord Jesus. I thought you said you are the son of God. Save yourself and save us. But the other one on that place still felt the anointing of God. And said, Lord, remember me in paradise. Hallelujah. Amen. So when the priestly anointing comes upon you, the first thing it will do is it gives you the grace to be able to speak. So when you hear people like Mercy, I say Mercy, is it Mercy Chimo, right? Yes, and then, um, and, um, what's the name? I'm walking in power. Uh, 
Sinaj. All these people begin to Eben. Uh, Joe Bliss, or I don't know, is it the head? Moses Bliss. You, the world start to hear their name. You know why? Because there is, they've entered into the priestly anointing. No wonder I was looking. Moses Bliss is not a pastor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Joe, Joe Priest, sorry. Joe Priest, that's the one I'm looking at. Joe Priest is not a pastor because the priestly anointing. And when I saw him move, I think you've seen the video. Ah, he's talking and he, this is a boy who from Iraq, Edo State. Am I communicating? Yes, Suddenly, Joe Praise is no longer Joe Praise. Something came upon him. The priestly anointing. And then when he carries the microphone to talk, there is conviction everywhere. I pray that today, God will give you your priestly anointing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come with me now. See, the problem with the priestly anointing is, I wrote down some of the things it does. There are many but I just want to give you the few. The priestly anointing, the first thing it does is to give you the grace to be able to win souls and everything and people begin to repent and all of that. Then it gives you grace for fellowshipping. Aha. You start to fellowship very well. It gives you the grace for praying and winning souls. Mm. It gives you the grace for proclaiming God's glory. So when you see somebody like Mesichimu will be singing, talking about God's glory, you will be moved in your car. I don't know if you get me. <laughs> you are playing it and you are moved in your car. It is just the anointing she carries. The priestly anointing. Then I went on and said, you know, when you have this anointing, what it does again is it gives you the sense for a priesthood. The Bible says in the book of First Peter chapter 2, verse 9, ye are God's special people, a royal priesthood. And that's what happened. If you notice, when the Lord was going to kill Aaron, he said, take him to the mountain, remove his priestly attire, and I will strike him. So that means, that means, the man who died, <laughs> touching the ark, it was supposed to be David, and you didn't know, because he didn't wear his effort. But because of the love of God, where David was, am I communicating? Don't forget, if, if the person who's under you make a mistake, the head is held accountable. Isn't that true? Yes, now. Adam, Adam, where is thy wife? Two of us. Where are you? Where are you, brother? It says, it's the wife you gave me. I'm hiding the wife you gave me. God didn't come for the wife. God came for the one who he made leader. If you are a man of God or a minister, you are a leader, and they put you in a place, and underneath your nose, you see things begin to happen wrong. You are the one to be held responsible. Amen. Amen. So the priestly anointing comes upon you. You become a leader. So when you become a cell group leader in your place, that's a priestly anointing. But the I irony of it is that 60% of Nigerians, am I communicating? 60% of people remain there. They don't want to grow past the priestly anointing. They remain there. They command exploits. They sing, things happen, people fall and cry. They go back home happy. I've seen young men who are very gifted can sing. And when they sing, I saw one, we did a program in Benin, he came, and all the girls, while service was still going on, after singing, all the girls ran out to follow him when he was going, taking phone number. It was not like a celebrity show. Am I communicating? Yes, but he didn't know that he's killing himself. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. You see, when the anointing comes upon you, the first thing that follows you is locusts. They start to fly around about you. What is locust? Those ones who want to take what you have. Go and ask Delilah. Delilah was not attracted to Samson. No. She was attracted to the thing that is upon his head. Am I communicating? Yes, so I'm speaking this also to somebody here. You are in the ministry. You have a calling. God is giving you visions. There are some men of God who will come your way. They say, want to walk with you. They will tell you for that vision you have. No, they are locusts, actually. They came in a guise of in a disguise of a man of God just to come and kill that vision. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Hello? Hi. A young man told me, Sir, I found her. I said, Okay. I like sports. She likes sports. Ah, okay. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. I swim. She swims. I said, All right. Everything I want, she wants. I said, Okay. Well, Satan can also give you that. Am I communicating? Yes, you are a young woman. You want a tall 
handsome, broad shoulder, pointed nose, blue eyes, brown hair, whatever, but your dad is not like that. Amen? Amen. 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 Yeah, you're from Igondo. I've been where they call that place, Igondo. Am I communicating? That's where your family house is. But you want all of these things you read in Mills and Booms novel. Mm. Your list is too many. No wonder you're 37. Amen? Amen? It's too long. Even the angels come want to answer it. They, they are confused. You want a man who speaks Spanish at the same time in Nigerian heritage. Am I communicating? What do you really, really want? Ask your neighbor, what do you want? What do you want? No, you are not asking. And say, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Somebody said, I want a woman who can dance like a person who goes to club, but yet a believer. <laughs> so where is the... There's a dysfunction. There's a disconnect. If you want somebody that dances like who goes to the club, then go to the club. But if you still want a believer, then follow a believer. I don't know if you get me. Ah, oh, God. Man of God, he must be anointed, but I don't want too much spiritual people. Uh, yeah. A lady looked at me and said, sad. We don't, I, don't, I pray every day. I don't want to marry a man of God, though. I say, why? He said, but I want my husband to love God, but I don't want him to be a man of God. And I said, he's like, you say you want electricity, but you don't want wiring in your house. Am I talking to people? Yes, you don't like wiring. All these things you see here is, is a case. See wire now. There's wires. Am I communicating? Yes, if you don't want wires, then you want electricity. No, lady, you are dreaming. Can you tell your neighbor, wake up? The anointing is going to be on you if you be in line with the anointing. That's what they call the alignment for your assignment. When you buy a new car, there must be an alignment for the wheel balancing. Am I communicating? If not, when you are driving, you see that the steering is going one way. And when you pull it, it goes back again because it aligns to a dysfunctional pattern. Am I communicating? Yes, you need to. Even if you marry a woman or a man, you need to still align that person back to your original purpose. That's why there's a place for godly courtship. In the times you are doing courtship is when you guys will now align. You say, this is my, this is what I have. This is what God called me to do. Are you ready to go on that journey with me? That's when the both of you will talk and liaise. Amen. Amen. The tricky question now is, are you in alignment to what God called you? You have a call of God. See, some of us, we've been through the process. When I met your husband, we were not, we were not, we were not doing our, our ministry then. Overseas. Amen? Amen. I, had, I had a dream. I want to be a professor at 32. Hallelujah. I, was, I had a knack for education and the fashion. And I was doing it very well. And I, I, I was, see my ears, I wore earrings and everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Walking the runway and looking so fly. Amen. Amen. And the Lord was just watching me. He said, see this idiot. Amen. Amen. Look at this idiot. Look at the one I called. See, Apostle, I don't know if you get me. And I'm walking wrong way with Louis Vuitton and everything. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Ah, somebody say, ha. Ah. Ah. I weep for myself. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, I didn't know. If I had known, I was telling my mom I would have gone to Bible school since. I don't know if you get me. Yes, I'm prepared. Did I waste the years? No, because that is the, the wisdom I'm using to teach you now is because of those years of experience. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, it is a scar. And that's why when you speak tongues, because the scar is upon you. Am I communicating? Some of us have done Christianity in a Muslim nation and preached in a Muslim place. If they catch you, haram, that you can be killed. And we spoke Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't have much time. We don't have much time. All I want to tell you is the indwelling of the spirit. Now you have the priesthood anointing. And that anointing makes things happen. When you are singing, people start to cry. You start to be like, <laughs> and then you are happy that it they walk. Am I communicating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see them go outside when they finish ministering. They don't wait for you to preach. Once you invite them to come and sing, once they sing, they drop microphone and they leave. I'm sorry, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not this one here. Amen. Amen. Ah. Somebody say, huh? Ah. And I keep looking at them like, are you serious? Really? They say, hey, a man of God, a man of God, we don't do our own. We have done our own, we are going. Our own is to make sure the sound is okay. I pity you. I pity you. Go and ask the person that sang, we wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. Ask the person the revelation. See, people, these songs are not born out of just pleasure. It is a revelation. He was waiting. He knows how he waited. Go and ask Hannah. You people go to Shiloh today to go and do boyfriend and girlfriend. They don't even know that Shiloh is a place where a woman came and travelled. 
Am I communicating? She was waiting for pregnancy. The Bible says anywhere Abraham found God, he built an altar. An altar. Jehovah Ebenezer. Jehovah Rapha. Ah, ah, ah. What is your altar? How many times have you witnessed God and gave the place a name? Rapha. My medicator. Hallelujah. My healer. Hallelujah. Amen. What do you call God with? When you worship God, what do you call him? What is that name that makes him float like this and say, my son is here? You don't know? Go and ask every man of God or woman of God who move in a dimension that is above humankind. Always have a quote. My father in the Lord, my first father in the Lord, which is Archbishop Benson Daosa, will say, and they that God has given to me are unto signs and wonder. Whenever he says it, you see people dead will begin to walk. When you see people like um, uh, um, Apostle Johnson Suleiman says, we don't serve a dead God, we serve a living God. That is his own quote. And whenever he says it, things begin to happen. The question is, what is your quote? Where is the place you found God? That God said, so this is what you'll be speaking. Anytime you to flow, say these things. Amen. Amen. You don't know. These are mysteries. These are mysteries. You don't just come and When you say that thing, then the angel say, oh, it's him. It's him. Am I communicating? Oh, it's him. Open the door of heaven for him. It's him. Nobody has that code. People might say it, but they don't, they don't have the spirit of it. Amen. Amen. What do you worship God with? I always tell the people, sometimes when we worship, I say, in your own language. In your own language. Meaning how you fraternize with the spirit. Talk to him. Some of you, maybe it's your own, you are singing. Hey, na, ni, ni, na, na, ni, ni, na, 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 na. That is your code. Am I communicating? Hey, hey. But you are aloof if you now stay in a gathering and this one doing anini, you now say and anini too, and then you listen to this one too. This one doing iradada, you say iradada. You are confused. A jack of all trades is what a master of no. I've seen people steal tongues, they, they steal tongues nowadays. Ah, uh -huh. go and ask our singers now. All of them want to sound like Victoria Renzi. Amen. Recorded, hallelujah. <laughs> I will say it. I'm an apostle, amen. Everybody wants to be like Theophilus Sunday now. No, this man had a DNA with a pattern. God told them, this is the road you follow. Am I communicating? It's good that Papa Oedipo will have sons, but his sons should be more than him. So they must listen to him, but they will become his pattern, but a more pattern of his pattern. Because every pattern has a different dimension. Am I communicating? Every pattern has... See, every phone made has... Um, what is that thing? In the, num the number they put on the back. Serial number is not the same with two phones made the same day. Different serial number. Am I communicating? That we are blood brothers does not mean we are aligned. Hello? How come we didn't hear of Miriam doing exploit? Instead, God gave, him lepro gave her leprosy. She was not even the same dimension of Moses. How can you be gossiping your brother? I don't know if you get me. So you see that there's another spirit working in her. A spirit of gossiping. The spirit of always envy. Envy. Is he, is he the only one that will be giving us laws? Every time we say God told him. Every time God told him. Is he the only one that have the indwelling of the spirit? We too, we possess it. Am I communicating? One of the reasons why Aaron died is that thing. That one and the other one when he took their earrings to make a calf. The Lord was angry with it. You cannot go and be gossiping men of God. Hey, amen. Amen. Lord, I'm sorry for all the ones I said before I knew you. Am I communicating? Uh, you know, we, 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 we have a panel. All of us now, we are a panel of judges. Isn't that true? I don't like this man of God. Who sent you? Are you the one that called him? Am I communicating? If the governor of Lagos have problem with, uh, what they call Loma, Abi, or those boys, what do they call this one that stay? If you, cross, if, you, if you cross the road, they catch you. Oh, Kai. Okay. We are going somewhere. Amen. <laughs> Kai. Uh, so Kai, you know Kai is what they say to when Kai, you don't make me vex. Am I communicating? <laughs> no, it's true. I don't know. <laughs> uh, please, oh, I don't say this or demean you. I'm just saying that. So Kai, now you are you are crossing the road and you're supposed to pass the, and they say Kai, come here. Am I communicating? Come here. If there is a problem between Lagos government and them, it will be them and them in the meeting. Isn't that true? Yes, Who gave you the right as a bloody civilian? To come and be questioning people who are under authority. They are under authority. 
what they told them is catch anybody that is crossing we don't pass the fly over their obligation is to do that so when a man of god is preaching you don't like his pattern or his ways don't judge him don't gossip him because you don't understand what god told him in the secret room am i communicating <laughs> i'm sorry but when during corona even till now a lot of people now came online different preachers there was one i saw i'm sorry to say this i'm an apostle so i can say amen he preached my good line. Am I communicating? He? Am I? No, no, no. You know that period? We were going through our wilderness. So I was just watching YouTube. Some people would come and say, you know, so I want to tell you about Jesus. I want to say, a man, and you are talking like that, I want to tell you about Jesus and what he's done for me. I don't know if you get me. But I didn't want to laugh because I don't know the pattern. Am I communicating? Hello? I don't know the pattern. I don't know the pattern. That thing that I'm laughing for, it might be working for somebody. I don't know if you know. No matter how you look like, there is somebody for you. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Ah, we are men of God. We've seen your office door open. You see some people who come, this is my man, this is my husband, this is my wife. And you look at the woman, very beautiful. You see the man, where is the disconnect from? Am I communicating? There are some who say, very good looking man, that's my wife. He say, oh, wow, wonderful. Some of the wow we do is not because we are doing wow because we are happy they came. It's the wow that we are shocked. Am I communicating? Wow, have your seat. Am I communicating? Have your seat. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. I pray that the grace of God that is upon you today will not be ruptured, will not be taken away. The last one is the one I might not give you too much of it. The last dose of the spirit filling. That one is called the kingly anointing. That kingly anointing, only 10% of earthlings are operating in that. Go and ask the likes of Theophilus, Selman, Oedipo, Idahosas, and the rest of them. Rehad Bonki, a man that will command millions of people in one spot and talk. The likes of Reverend Chris and the rest of the many generals of God who only their presence make things begin to happen. Kingly anointing is gotten by your koinonia with the Holy Ghost. And by number one thing again is obedience. Whatever God tells you to do, you do it without asking questions. Watching Papa, he said, The Lord said, I should give up my car. I did it without asking. I said, Yes, Lord, I will. It's not easy. Am I communicating? Yes, Abraham, go and slay your son for me. I said, yes, Lord. Are you surprised that the Lord now told him when he's about to... He said, now I know you truly love me. But the Lord has been making covenant with him since I'm talking to him. But how come he didn't know that? Am I communicating? Yes, it's only when he was about to kill the child. He now said, now I know you love me. Meaning that there are different tests God will give you. Am I communicating? Yes, oh, you don't understand. In every new level, there's a new devil. What is the new devil? The new temptation that will come. For every new height you will enter. So if you are a thousandaire now, you want to become a millionaire, there is a test God will give you. He might even ask you to empty your account sometimes to see if you really love him and if he can trust you with that millions that is coming your way. But then again, some of you, you are fighting your thousands. How can he give you a million? Yeah. And what you have in your account is not so big. Oh, it's like 120. But that 120, you are dying there. And he wants to give you 120 million. But he's telling you, just release this 120 and have patience for me. I'm talking to somebody now. In your life, there are so many things God has been asking you to let go from. But you are still holding it. Some of you, it's masturbation. You've been fighting it. The spirit wants to take you to the next level. He's, he's, he's willing to help you. He's your helper. But he says, just let go of these thoughts. Let go. I want to help you. But you are fighting it again. Satan knows that is your, that is your place of death. So he puts you there. Some of you, it is lost. It is lost. Anytime I go to a church, I always peruse through their choir with my spiritual eyes. Because that's where Satan has put Satan has so put it on, key, uh, not keyboards, but instrumentalist choir and everything. And that's the end time. Our musicians who are ministers, Satan has put porous, very, very porous. Our altar has been infiltrated. Our men of God, I'm sorry to say this, amen. amen. I would let the truth be spoken. Many are called, few are choosing. There are many now who hold microphone, who sleep with people's wife in the church. Ha! 
somebody came to our ministry and was asking one of our workers out downstairs they were serving food and then and then the person said why don't you, are you not afraid we're in church our worker was asking him he said hi it's not in our church we don't we do it in our church our pastors even do it more like, what are you saying it's normal am i communicating it's normal oh where has the where has the pure fire of god gone where where has where has the reverence do you know when you talk about hey the old prophet they had chains on their legs when they entered the holy of holy so that in case you have seen when this the, the the bell is attached to it so when they enter you hear shaking shaking the moment you don't hear the shaking you know that they've been smoking to death why because of one thing maybe it's just because they have quarrel with their wife that morning and they, need, they didn't forgive her they just told her you know i'm a man of god you will see they get killed but now we're under the dispensation of grace and people can come and be sleeping with different people in the church and still hold microphone and be preaching that Jesus loves you. And still speak in tongues and want to lay that fabricated hands on you. And they are doing it. It's now theatrics. The way they do movies in Enugu and Asaba is the way they do movies now in church. Fall, fall, behave, vomit something. Am I communicating? Ah, when God still have the power to slay people? Amen. 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 May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. I live with this. Before we close everything. Can we be on our feet, please? This is this is a moment of truth. If you know you have a call in here, please put your right hand up. Everybody be on your feet, please. If you know you have a calling upon your life that you know you have a calling and you've sensed it you've been told put your right hands up yeah everybody in this room I believe there's something I want to leave you with before I go and that's what the Lord sent me here to come and do release the oil Woman of God, am I permitted to apply the oil for those who want it? That oil, you're going to open it for me and I'll pray on it. That's never been opened before. We want to pray on it. Help you take up the cover. Father, we thank you. Let your spirit come upon this oil heavy. Ah! The young David was anointed. He didn't even know that after 30 years he would be the king. He was just playing happy. Lord, as this anointing come upon your head today, let it come with fire. They will not go home to be the same again. Flow over me. Flow over me. Flow over me, oh. Fire overflow. Flow over me. Flow over me, flow over me, Lord. Fire overflow, flow over me, flow over me, flow over me, Lord. Lord. Fire overflow, flow over me, flow over me, fire, 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 fire overflow. Over me. Touch my life from a time. Make me not the same. Fire overflow. Fire overflow. Flow over me. Just the same Just the same Fire, 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 fire overflow. Over Every head this oil will touch shall overflow. Every head this oil shall Love touch. Fire, 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 fire overflow. Love of me. In their lives. Love of me. Love of me. Fire overflow. Lord, let it be so. Let this oil be changed into the blood of Jesus. Everyone that touches it with a calling, they must answer the call. 
enough of running away from their responsibility lord bring conviction clearly touch them in their dreams touch them when they walk speak to them when they cry anywhere they are will talk to them as they are taking their bath talk to them they will see you clearly and they will say yes lord Amen. isaiah 6 verse 8 shall stand they will say here i am lord send me send me the same way you touched me and called me and after the preaching of dr larry talks to you i, I remain not the same and i made a conscious decision the lord i will do your work even if you send me to the ends of the earth and here i am today not knowing years after that this is real and i'm still standing i'm still lost in that dream because i'm not yet awake lord the same way let them lost in that dream the, their purposeful dream their destiny dream lord that this oil will come right now and touch them in the name of the father in the name of the son i will need somebody to help me those of you that have calling please just come forward we're just going to set it up on fire please come forward just 